Hello. Do you know what time it is? It's beer time. Uh, yeah, okay. Hello everyone and welcome to hashtag beer time, hashtag upgrade, hashtag boom! Very excited to be here in these new studios. I won't tell you where they are uh, because my mom might kick me out. No, I'm joking. We are very happy to be here. Um, thank you to my friends who are helping me. We're going professional ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to everyone who has given me words of advice, words of wisdom. Letters of eviction. Subscribe to my channel. I shall reward you in ways that you cannot imagine. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. We're starting with Triggerfish Ocean Potion Pell Ale. It was one of the first craft breweries that's really introduced me to the whole concept of craft. Spurred on my imagination as to what a craft beer could be. Let's do this. A little aggressive on the paw there. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, lots of melon, lots of fruit. Some granadilla coming through there. Typical of a American pale ale. Got some nice soft hops coming through them. Bitterness, not overpowering. Battered toast on this. Easy drinking mango, some peach stone fruits. Very enjoyable. I am picking up a hint of oxidization, uh, which is almost like a cardboard taste. It's not a major flaw. It comes from a number of issues in the brewing process. It's not unpleasant, but it's definitely something I can overlook and enjoy. Their brewery is out in Somerset West. They've got a great brew pub, great food. It's a really cool brewery to visit. So go check it out. Thank you. Next beer, Dark Lager from Brewers and Union. It's actually made in Bavaria, in Germany. It's been sold now in Europe. There are some Europeans watching the show. A darker, sweeter, burns caramel kind of taste. I think that's where Dark lagers really get there. Why are you tapping like that? Because the glass is dirty. Okay, we're gonna try that again. It's so important to pour beer in a clean glass. Much better. Fatty stains or oils can kill the head. It can affect the taste and overall enjoyment. It's a very nice clarity. It's a very dark amber mahogany kind of color. Burnt caramel flavor coming through the lager. Just a little bit more sweeter brown, chocolatey, toasty kind of notes coming through. Almost like a Marmite. Very deceiving, thinking that you're going to have something that's thick and creamy. I should have probably had this beer first. If you are doing a beer tasting, it's best to start with lighter beers, lagers, work your way up on the alcohol scale, the hop scale, the malt scale. It's a bit much. So I really like dark beers. I enjoy these guys. I enjoy this one. It gets, tries two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Does the air look good? Our third and local beer, Hog House Brewing Co. That's clean, it's clean. Road Hog Porter, I'm a big fan of porters. I've tried it before, let's be honest. Let's see what it's like. On beer time. So people say, Troy, what's the difference between a porter and a stout? <laughs> I don't know. It's got to do with adding black malts to the recipe. Some people perceive stouts to be a little bit thicker, creamier, higher alcohol. Fuck. I can't just get drunk on all the shows. <laughs> Burn toast, some molasses, a little bit of chocolate, very little hops. This is a malt forward beer. Bit of licorice, bit of toffee. A very tart, actually coming from the black malt that they've used, which can impart somewhat sour notes. Picking up a bit of a smoky kind of taste. Might be a flaw. Don't know if they're going for that. But also a nice sweet finish. Sometimes I wonder what my brain thinks and what I say. Great winter beer. So if you're in the Southern Hemisphere right now, drink a porter. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, drink a porter. Ha! Dig the beer, dig the label, check them out. Thank you guys, I really enjoyed today. Thank you to the beers. I'm so stoked that I got to taste them. I'm really happy with the way the beers are looking these days. Five years ago in South Africa, the labels were awful. I'm really happy with where we're heading in terms of products, both inside and outside. Guys, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Like the video, share the video, hang in there, stay tuned. We went for one hell of a ride. Ah!
Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers.